In this video, I'll show you two ways to connect your KRK Rocket G4 speakers to your computer, Windows or Mac. I'll go over a cost-effective option and a recommended way, and I'll explain the difference between the two. Let's begin with the cost-effective option. This option uses a single cable to connect your speakers, and you don't need anything else. However, it uses unbalanced cables, which are susceptible to picking up noise and interference. So on the back of the speakers, you'll find balance input jacks for TRS or XLR cables. For this option, we'll use a 3.5 millimeter, 1 8 inch TRS cable. This plugs into your computer's headphone jack, connected to two XLR cable, each connecting to a speaker. I'll have links to everything in the description box below. These cables come in different lengths. I recommend buying the shortest length you'll need. Since these cables are not balanced, the longer your cables, the higher the risk of picking up noise interference. This is the six foot cable and it normally comes like this. You can pull them apart to the desired length. These are labeled tip and ring. Tip goes on the left speaker and ring goes to the right speaker. Let's connect them. So the XLR end goes to each speaker with the tip going to the left speaker and the ring end, usually colored red, to the right speaker. Now connect the other end to the headphone jack of your computer and make sure your speakers are turned on. Once connected, your computer's audio should automatically play through the speakers. With my setup, I didn't notice any interference noise, but it may be different with your setup. But remember, the longer the cable, the more susceptible it is to noises. The recommended way to connect the KRK Rocket G4 to your computer is by using an audio interface, which lets you connect balanced cables to your computer. Balanced cables are more resistant to noise and interference. That's the difference between these two methods. Although this option is going to be a lot more expensive, the audio interface can easily run over $100. I picked up the Focusrite Scarlett Solo audio interface, and I picked up some balanced cables, a pack of two TRS male quarter inch to TRS male quarter inch cable, which I'll connect the speakers to the audio interface. On this audio interface, you connect the TRS cables here, then to the left and right speakers. Then you plug the USB cable here and the other end to your computer. So let's do that. Alright, so we're going to connect one end of the cable to the balance input jack on the right speaker and the other end to the right line output of our audio interface. Then we will repeat for the left speaker. Now let's hook up the audio interface to our computer. So my MacBook only has a USB-C port, so I'll need an adapter to connect it to my computer. Once the audio interface is connected, your computer's audio should automatically switch over to your speakers. But if not, you'll need to go to settings and make sure the audio output is set to the audio interface. So on a Windows computer, press the Windows button, go to settings, Go to system and go to sound and make sure your audio interface is selected. On the Mac, open the launch pad, go to system preferences, go to sound and under output select your audio interface, in my case the Scarlett Solo USB. And that's it. I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.